Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Oblivion with Drathus Vess. First, I'd like to uh, apologize for not uploading. I've been busy at work, and I only really have one day to upload. Before this recording, I have familiarized myself with the controls, so it should be fine. I won't forget too much now. Now, I will, uh... I do have a lot of mods installed, by the way. Same ones as last time. I will be, uh... I'm gonna be locking some of the things that it opens up, because they are... very overpowered, and if I lock it, I won't be tempted to use them early game. So, without further ado, let's get back into the action. Currently in the uh, natural caverns. Oh, he spotted me. That'll be a, uh, that'll be a good addition. How? Okay. I figured out how to drop things, so it's all good. Let's shift. Sweet, I get my arrow back. I've played this game so many times, I know where all of the, uh, the albums are that scared the crap out of me. Because I know where all the goblins are, I know where all the good stuff is. Because so I've played this game way too many times. Repair hammers you can use to increase your armor skill. The higher your armor skill, the more effective your repair hammers, and the uh, less often they break. Because repair hammers break in this Because repair hammers break. It's a little, uh... It's a little important that you keep your armor repaired often because the more uses you get out of your repair hammer, the higher your armor skill and the more likely they are to break. So I got two right now. That's that's I got lucky. I only broke one of them. Normally I break both of them on the first item I have to repair. Now that we are uh, out of the goblin section, we meet back up with the uh, the emperor after I loot this chest. Ooh, blocks! I need those. I've been recording for four minutes now, so this is lovely. I've made so much progress. That was me just familiarizing myself with what I uh, have in the way of quick stuff. Nothing in hockey. Ooh, almost made a mistake. We should find a defensible spot and protect the Emperor until help arrives. Help, what makes you think help will get here before word comes back? We need to get here the Emperor out again. of here. I'm gonna let these guys fight it out because I don't I don't need to be in that fight. I 
think that was all of them? Let me take a look around. Have you seen the prisoner? Do you think he followed us? How could he? I know he did. That was uh, Sir Patrick Stewart. You just heard. He said, "I know. I know you did. He did." Not yet. Let me rest a moment longer. And now they get into their loop, where they will never stop saying the things they're saying. Your Majesty, we need to keep moving. Not yet. Let me rest a moment longer. But they're waiting for you. Damn it! It's that prisoner again! Nope, oh, I messed up. No, he is not one of them. Yeah, they, uh, they skip dialogue if he opens up something. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I'm not on good terms with the gods. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. That. That is the most loaded question in this entire game. Is each sign has its, its own benefit, but also a drawback. Uh, the lady, it's just 10 bonus, 10 points to willpower and endurance, which is good. But it's also bad because that's, it's just willpower and endurance. And it's only 10. You can get a better increase from other things. The mage, just 50 points to magicka. The thief, uh, 10 point bonus to agility, speed, and luck. Luck does not luck is the best because no matter what skills you increase luck only goes up by one when you level up i completely skipped the apprentice it gives 100 bonus points to magic but you're 100 percent weaker to magic which sucks atronach you don't regain magic over time but you have 50 percent magic absorption and re to recharge your magic and base magic is also 150 so if you can turn that into 100% absorption by getting an item that also gives you 50, mages are no longer a problem for you. The Lord. You get, you can use the Blood with the North lesser power, and because it's a lesser power, you can use it multiple times, I believe. Unless it's one of those lesser powers that can live. No, nope, yep, you can use it multiple times. You can regenerate up to 90 points of health. But you also have the Trollkin Curse. 25% weakness to fire. I might be taking that one with this character. It might be what I'm doing because I, I'm a Dark Elf, so I'm resistant to uh, fire damage. The Lover. Use the Lover's Kiss Power once a day to paralyze an opponent for 10 seconds at the cost of 120 points of fatigue. If you don't have the fatigue, I think it knocks you down. Which is hilarious. The Ritual. Those born under the Ritual use the Mara's Gift Power once a day as a powerful restore health spell. The Blessed Word can turn the undead. The Serpent. Gain the Serpent spell to cause a slow but potent poison on touch. While simultaneously ki curing yourself and dispelling magic on yourself. Casting this spell costs 100 points of fatigue. So again, knocking yourself down if you don't have the fatigue. The Shadow. Use the Moon Shadow power once a day to become invisible for 60 seconds. The Steed. Gives you 20 points to speed, which is really good. Speed is good. The Tower. With the Tower key power once a day, open a door or container of average lock level or less. The Tower Warden reflects 5 points of damage for 120 seconds once a day. So, average lock chest, there's a there's an alteration spell you can get that'll do that anyway. So I've, I never get the tower, honestly. 
because I can just cast the alteration spell if I need it. And finally, the warrior. The warrior ability grants a bonus of 10 points to strength and endurance. And looking at these, I will be taking the lord for now. Because I can I can change it later if I really need to. Yes. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. What about me, good sir? Your stars are not mine. Today the Lord shall prove a faithful patron in your quest for glory. Can you see my future? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. And you're not afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. Where will I we go be going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Just gotta quickly change something. Wow, that is a large difference. Yeah, the music really changes how that how that speech goes. I may have to fix that later. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. I don't use torches. It means I'm seen. I don't like being seen. Tell me about the blades. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. Does hiding behind the pillar talking to an escaped prisoner a part of that plan? Or is this just what you do to have fun? Tell me about the Emperor. He seems... different. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. That's not what I asked you. You're very unhelpful. And very creepy standing behind that pillar. Goodbye. Stick close and let us do our job. You'll be all right. Oh, I'm not afraid of me. I am more worried about you, fools. The Emperor's in danger. Mara's mercy on me. For the Emperor! So that's one arrow I'm definitely getting back. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, there's actually nothing over here that you want to, like, grab. As far as I know. The Emperor is actually absolutely not in danger, by the way. They're just exaggerating because they're afraid that he'll be killed by these Mythic Dawn guys. As you can see from their robes, they are Mythic Dawn. We'll get more into that later. Talos preserve us. Help the Emperor? Nah, he's got it under control. I'm here to loot. I'm not here to help. I'm here to watch. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Ooh. 
looks clear. Come on. We're almost through with the suits. I'm lagging a little bit. I'm trying to make a... S don't do that. What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. Oh. I give up. This is the perfect spot for an ambush. This... If you were paying really close attention, you'll notice that this is actually a gate. It's gonna come up. The Mythic Dawn will be dropping down from there, because that's a door you can't open. And... from here. What you're supposed to do is guard the Emperor in here. This is where he They're dies. Behind us. Wait here, sir. You heard the door close. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. For this the one's Emperor! Mine. Come with us. You're... Oh, I wasn't supposed to talk to him. Come That's with good. us. Your destiny is bound up with mine and with the fate of Tamriel itself. Hey, hey, go away, go away. I can go no further. He wasn't you supposed to be in here. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. But I don't wanna. Yeah, that guy wasn't supposed to be here. Oh, wow. Okay. Ah, stranger, you chose a poor. The emperor. Interesting. So, uh, Glenroy, he just, he just randomly dies. We failed. I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. I did not loot him. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? He, he gave me this mission. I have to bring it to a man called Joffrey. You may know him. Do you know a man called Joffrey? Joffrey? He said that? Why? There is another. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. And how do I get there? Well, I actually know how to get there. I have a map. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. But the sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced assassin. Am I right? Let's let's actually see if you are right. Let's see what an assassin has. Security, sneak, acrobatics, marks, and light armor, alchemy, blade. Well, you are not quite right. I am not an experienced assassin. I will be taking the stealth, though. Agility and 
be l agility and luck. So, as we know, all duration, blade, light armor marksman, security sneak. Now, these next two. Uh, no, next one. Yeah. Alteration, I can. Ah. Mm. Uh. Alteration. I can train alteration. Because I want illusion and I want uh, mysticism. Definitely as well as the rest. Alright, so that's that's my set that's my major class. And it will be called Let's see, what do I call this class? That, that should do it just right. Sure, I'll create that class. <laughs> I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. You were actually very far off. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances. But proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? I don't need another explanation. I'm actually fine. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. What about you? What are you gonna do? You gonna die here too? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering my comrade's swords. I'll see that they are given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. Look at all these quests. Oop, wrong button. See? Already hitting the wrong buttons. So he took my sword. Which means... There we go. Does four damage versus two. All right. Mod stuff. Leave the emperor in peace. They never let me loot. Back to sneaking. Wow, he's very observant. There we go. Now I do more damage with my bow. That's the chest I was talking I was thinking of. And now my skills are I will show those in a moment. Now my now my uh, security skill is 31, which means I break lockpicks less often and one tumbler if I break a lockpick while I'm picking a lock, one of the tumblers doesn't come down. Now, my skills. My class is the master. I'm probably going to change that name. Uh, these are my regular stats. As you can see, my luck is 55. I will be increasing luck and two other skills every level. This luck is... Luck determines how, how lucky you are. And that sounds really stupid, but it, it, it makes sense. I'm already this far up to the next level. Blade is 35. I'm a Dark Elf. That gives me a 10 bonus. Mysticism is 30. Dark Elf gives me a bonus of 5. Light Armor is 35. Dark Elf gave me a bonus of 15, by the way, for Blade as well. Nope, 10. It starts at 25. Didn't get a bonus for Illusion, which is 25 standard. Marksman, I've been using that, so I have no idea how many times I've increased that, but 
bonus. Bonus to security as well, and sneak. I also have a bonus to athletics. Un destruction, yeah, I got a bonus to destruction. So those are my skills. I am happy with those. It's all three. Ooh, alteration is five. So now that the uh... those are my skills. And I have just a few more minutes left. Oh, I also have new spells now. That's going to help. Blood of the North. Oh! Oh, yeah. Is it six? No, it's four. Also, 50 Magicka. Do I have 50 Magicka? Okay, good. I can cast it. Good. Minor Dispel. That's Mr. 